What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And in today's video I will show you the latest news directly related to our story, I will show you new deadlines uh, on some of our litigations, I will show you the comments of uh, very well known people from IOMTLP community on uh, this uh, news, and I will show you even a potential steps uh, towards uh, the resolution of naked short problem. So. And before we dive deep into all of this, uh, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family, and drop me a line in the comment section if you think uh, my videos is valuable for the community. Only in this case uh, we will be able to attract more attention to this problem, and eventually this will lead us uh, to our victory. So, uh, let's start with the news itself. We are on hands of still uh, Twitter account. He is, uh, this is the person who filed uh, fourth lawsuit, uh, the most recent one, and his real name is uh, Jay Yoon Park, and he made uh, several tweets. Let me start one by one. 13 hours ago he wrote, update, FINRA submitted for extension to the court today. Their old uh, deadline was uh, May 24th, but their new deadline is June 23rd. So they switched uh, almost for one month forward this deadline. Also, I filed a response opposing the motion to compel arbitration today. I will upload the file tonight for anyone who is interested. And he also added to this tweet, he uploaded this file, you can find it on Dropbox. And let me quote you this uh, tweet. This is what I filed in federal court today. Opposition to defendant's motion to compel arbitration. If these arguments do not work, I have no hope for the rest of our community to avoid arbitration. Take a good look. So, I have to say that uh, this sentence uh, is uh, quite upset, in my opinion, because uh, Hands of Steel, basically, Jay Yoon Park uh, made this statement uh, because uh, he don't know what to do next if these arguments uh, will not work. And definitely it is quite uh, hard to read uh, because of uh, the sentiment of uh, this sentence. But let me show you the details uh, of uh, this document, and I want to pay your attention only on the conclusion of uh, factual, factual background. Let me quote to this. The motion should be denied because 1. Plaintiff did not create an account with E-Trade and did not consent to be held to arbitrate with E-Trade. Second, the arbitration uh, provision is the customer agreement is both procedurally and uh, substantively unconscionable. And three, there is a public policy to provide fair trial and uh, hearing to all litigants. So, uh, I have to say that, uh, in general, the main problem right now is the immunity. And this immunity basically destroys uh, one of the lawsuits. Uh, it uh, destroys, uh, so-called destroyed the lawsuit of Richard Hoffman. And let me quote you what uh, did Richard uh, answer on this uh, matter. And on May 22nd he wrote, Dear Mr. Gensler and, Miss, uh, and Mr. Cook, how can we believe anything you agencies say if uh, they are always a sort absolute immunity for even conduct claimed to be criminal? And uh, I completely agree with this statement, because uh, if uh, someone uh, has uh, total immunity and uh, they made uh, a crimes, how we can uh, solve for this problem, how we can uh, show the people that uh, these agencies, these authorities made these crimes? It doesn't make sense in my opinion. This means uh, the total immunity, in my opinion, should be dismissed. On top of that, uh, he also added uh, this tweet on May 22nd and he wrote, Mr. James Angel seems uh, to suggest that shorts, etc. are the equivalent of bookies. As flattering as uh, bookmaking is, I think a better comparison, in my opinion, only is OC, organized crime like loan sharks, not legal advice. And uh, he stated, uh, he made this statement uh, because of uh, this, uh, let me show you, uh, this uh, document. And I covered it uh, on one of my previous video. It is a James Angel presentation, and uh, we also have a very good uh, article that uh, destroys uh, this uh, presentation. And this article uh, is made by Kevin Berthold. And I also made uh, the video on this article, and you can find uh, this uh, in uh, my channel as well. And let me show you further. 
the news related to naked shorting. We can find this article on uh, Yahoo Finance that was originally made by Reuters and it says US action on short sellers likely in the next few months. DOJ official. And let me quote to this. Short seller, the practice of seeking to profit of uh, bets that a, sh a stock will fall is a key focus uh, for US prosecutors and there will be more activity by the Justice Department in coming months a top department official said on Wednesday. The recent uh, routine shares uh, of US regional banks uh, brought fresh scrutiny by criminal prosecutors and regulators of short sellers, who had previously come under review in the wake of the meme stock uh, craze of 2021, Reuters and, ma and other media outlets uh, have reported. But remarks on Wednesday by the chief uh, of the Justice Department Fraud Sections Market Integrity Team was the first time that a DOJ official has talked openly about this relatively new area of focus. And uh, definitely, uh, in a matter of next uh, several months, uh, we will see some resolution uh, related to the short selling in general and naked shorting in particular. And in my opinion, first of all, we have uh, to destroy the naked shorting procedures and we have uh, to see that people who is responsible for this illegal activity should go to jail. And in my opinion, it is extremely important to give uh, this signal to the community and to the entire market in order to be as transparent as we can. So let me show further information. Related to the blue sheets, and uh, basically we all know that Mark Arbacil uh, is uh, awaiting for the final hearing in uh, court uh, on June 13th, 2023. And here you can see the schedule regarding New York Supreme Court judge orders to release the blue sheets. Finra written reply due June the 2nd, 2023, rebuttal due June the 9th, 2023, and oral arguments uh, on June 13th, 2023. And these three deadlines are important because, uh, in my opinion, uh, this uh, petition that was made by Mark Arbessel is uh, the most powerful one and uh, we might see the releasing of blue sheets or we might see the reason why FINRA cannot do it. But uh, let me show you this uh, tweet that was uh, made on May 23rd by Nicholas Raya. And he wrote, Office uh, of the General Counsel denied my FOIA appeal for e-mail traffic and blue sheets because the SEC Division of Enforcement staff requested those these documents are part of an active investigation. And here you can see the official answer that, uh, as you can see, was uh, made on May 23rd, and it says, This response uh, to your Freedom of Information Act, appeal of the FOIA officer's uh, denial of your April the 3rd, 2023 FOIA request for all email traffic regarding discussion of metamaterials uh, and its private series A, non-tradable dividend uh, MMTLP and the blue sheets uh, for MMIT and MMTLP for June 1st, 2022 to April 1st, 2023. By letter dated May 5th, 2023, the FOIA officer denied your request. The FOIA officer asserted FOIA exemptions 4, 5, 6, 7A, 7C and 8 to withhold the requested records. So we have uh, another denial and let me show you that uh, Bird Lady Royal Pigeons uh, answered on the same tweet uh, that uh, hers uh, has not been denied yet. So we have uh, to wait uh, the uh, result uh, from Bird Lady Royal Pigeons because she also filed uh, this uh, petition to release blue sheets uh, back in April and uh, definitely we might see some results from this standpoint. But in general, I have to say that uh, we also have quite good news. And let me show you this uh, tweet that was made by Hollywood Henry. And I covered uh, his tweets uh, in my previous video. And uh, he is making a physical packet of uh, the information related to the MMTLP story. And uh, he wants to send uh, this information to all the authorities and the congressmen. And let me show you his uh, tweet. Unleashing the power of faces of MMTLP. Our first wave of packets uh, has taken flight, carrying the voices of justice. From every corner, shareholders united, demanding account accountability. Join the movement, fairmarketsnow.org. And here is the, the uh, f uh, pictures of uh, these uh, letters. And as you can see how many letters uh, he has made. And definitely this uh, might change a lot if uh, congressmen will receive uh, these letters uh, 
by the end uh, of uh, today because uh, tomorrow is the deadline of uh, the official congress meeting and let me show you this information uh, on friday may 26 uh, it uh, will be a uh, 17 members of congress and uh, or staffers uh, who uh, will meet with finra regarding mmtlp and uh, so far we don't have uh, any confirmation that uh, John Burda will attend to this meeting and let me show you this information that was retweeted by Anna and Anna underscore threads and she retweeted the tweet that was originally made by Amanda Morin and she wrote so odd hours after I made the tweet to you my congressman's office sent this uh, good afternoon Amanda I'm following up uh, on your request that congressman and uh, we don't know the name of this congressman contact the House Financial Service Committee and Oversight Committee and request that uh, representatives for MMTLP are invited to the meeting that is scheduled for Friday, May 26th with FINRA. We apologize, we are not able to invite guests to a hearing when the congressman is uh, not on the committee. It would uh, be my recommendation that others in the impacted uh, group who may be represented by members of the committee reach out. And um, I have to say that we don't know who will represent the MTLP community. And for now, it is another uh, gray area. It is another limbo territory that uh, someone will represent us in front of the Congress and the Financial Service Committee. And we don't know who this person is and uh, what is uh, his or her point of view. And we know that James Angel, for example, has um, <laughs> not the best point of view related to MMTLP and uh, in the opinion of the majority of uh, MMTLP community and in my opinion as well, this person cannot represent uh, us uh, in any type of official meetings. So, I think uh, that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family and drop me a line in the comment section for whatever reason you want. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna 